What's going on everybody? It's Titanic Feet Jack and I'm back at you again with part two of my top 15 countdown of 2023. Before we get back into it, pick up where we left off. Uh, I need a couple things from you guys. I need you to hit that like button on the video. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I come back with another video. And sub up to the channel if you haven't already. Now, uh, we've seen some pretty good sneakers uh in the previous video from uh numbers 15 to 11 so we're gonna go ahead and keep it going keep the countdown going we're gonna go ahead with number 10. now uh, before y'all kill me in the comments this is my top 10. everyone's entitled to their opinion and with that being said number 10 is a lot of people sneaker of the year or sneaker of the year runner up we got people on YouTube, posting pictures on social media saying that this sneaker I'm about to reveal is the sneaker of the year. However, it is not my sneaker of the year. So, coming in now, number 10, we got the, hey, <laughs> the Air Jordan 4, the Nike SB, SB Jordan 4s. It was a good sneaker. The rollout was okay. The, uh, presentation was okay I just think some things could have been better with that with the presentation with the sneakers I mean we really didn't get any extras we didn't get any uh any dope gear I know uh what's that skin shot ruckus we were out there in the rain me my kick sick my dog side kicks br my dog Hank got heat we were all out there in the rain when uh, Ruckers released these, uh, it could have been done better, executed a little better, but however, it is a pretty good sneaker. I have a, a great pair in my opinion, but uh, it's only number 10 on my countdown of 2023, the Nike SB Jordan 4. Coming in at number nine on the countdown this year, uh, this sneaker, uh, it's a theme sneaker with like the Marvel product, the Marvel family. There was one came out a few years ago and now we have part two. Here we go, the Air John 1 Spider-Man, the origin of the story, the uh, origin, whatever the name was. Uh, this is a pretty good sneaker. Uh, shout out to Sneak Politics again. Got these bad boys for retail. Uh, I like these I like them more than the last sneaker but this is a pretty good it doesn't measure up to the original one but however it still is a great sneaker that semi translucent bottom on your outsole but this is a good sneaker the tongue's a little stiff but I like it a lot and it is the number nine sneaker on my countdown of 2023 the number eight sneaker on the countdown this year is a sneaker uh not a lot of people is talking about uh pretty sure a lot of people forgot that the sneaker actually came out so uh it's a very popular silhouette people going crazy for it uh i mean let's just show you guys the shoe number eight on the countdown is the nike don't glow Kodai JP snakeskin. Uh, these were a must have. You know, a little different, good materials on these. And, uh, this is a good shoe. Dope pickup. I like the concept. The Kodai JPs. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is a re release. Possibly. But we got the leather sock liner. Uh, pretty good. Wish we could have got a better box we just got a regular orange and white nike box and no extras but however i appreciate a great shoe when i do get a great shoe uh this is the nike don't glow Kodai jp snakeskin coming in at number eight on the countdown coming in at number seven uh this sneaker i'm pretty sure a lot of people uh probably forgot that this sneaker released this year that or they wasn't rocking with it but i remember I was actually on vacation in San Antonio when I got the notification that these sneakers were on sale. I got them from Amamanera online and uh, 
that discount helped a lot in me getting this sneaker. Uh, and they came in, they're in good shape. Already the bust a move. I wore these to church one Sunday. Uh, I'm talking about the Air Jordan One, the vibrations of Naja. Good tumbled leather on these. You got the cork swoosh and around the ankle uh collar, your puff logo. This is a good executed sneaker. I really like these. I already put these feet to pavement, feet to ground. You know what I'm saying? This is a good sneaker. Uh not sure what you guys think about it, but I, I love it. It made my countdown. And it is the number seven sneaker, the Jordan 1 Vibrations of Naja. The number six sneaker on my countdown, this silhouette, it just came out of nowhere. It took off in 2023. We've had some great colorways. We even had a Dawn Becker in this silhouette that's going bananas right now. I really want to get my hand on a pair of the Dornbeckers, but uh, that's, that price is just high as giraffe. You know the rest of that saying. Uh, but however, I did get this colorway that I highly coveted when I first saw the photos leak of these. I'm talking about none other than the Nike Zoom Vomero 5 in the Varsity Maze colorway. Yes, I wore these in San Antonio and a couple other places and man I was turning heads with these this is a great sneaker great colorway and don't talk about comfort oh very comfortable guys I really like this sneaker so that's it number six on the countdown the Nike Zoom Vomero 5 Varsity Maze And that's going to conclude the countdown for today, so please tune back in tomorrow for the conclusion of the countdown as I reveal my top five sneakers of 2023. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.